I'd like to ask that we take a moment of silence in honor of the people we've lost and those that have died without attaining justice. As we are basking in this silence, can I bring you to this story that I have to share, which I experienced whilst I was doing my fieldwork. It is a story of justice that was demanded by a man called Moses Chokoda. This man passed away in 2009 at the hands of Zano PF supporters. As it was political violence and led to death, our formal justice system took it up and criminal proceedings were happening. But what struck people was, in our custom when someone dies, you are usually buried in two or three days. At most, your funeral happens within a week. But for Moses, he could not be buried for more than two years. That's spooky, right? But he could not be buried for more than two years because his spirit was demanding justice. What do I mean when I say his spirit was demanding justice? In my custom, a human being is a spirit being. You exist in three forms. The living, us. There is the living dead, which is our ancestors, and the living unborn, the future generation, which at some point I was a future generation, and now I am the living. When you die, it is a rite of passage to transition into the living dead. But if you die unlawfully, it becomes difficult for your spirit to transcend into the realm of the living dead. That's why Moses was demanding justice, so that the burden in his heart could be lifted. What did that mean? According to our custom, unlawful killing is a taboo. The only way you can die is through natural means. So if you are killed by another person, firstly, there has to be an appeasement that is done according to the demands of the spirit of the dead. If I want 10 bulls, give me 10 bulls. Where do they go to? To my family. If I want money as well, give me money. Where does it go to? To my family. Why? They have lost somebody. I was probably the breadwinner. Now who's going to look after them? That was the case. But on top of that, there is need for a cleansing ritual. Why? Because you have polluted the society. Remember, it exists in three realms of the living, the living dead, and the unborn. Now, a burdened spirit is a spirit in limbo, which comes back to haunt the living. Unless something is done to appease the spirit of the deceased, the society does not live in harmony. This was the case when Moses died. Should I tell you what the court system did? It took over two years as well to reach a verdict. So what then happened? We have somebody lying in the mortuary for over two years. Every time people went to the mortuary to look at his remains, and they think now we can take him to bury him, he would wake up. It sounds spooky, it's real. And through consultations, which is part of our custom, right? Moses' spirit spoke and it said what it wanted, which included bulls, money, and a cleansing ritual, right? The offenders came to their senses, which is what our custom does. They came to their senses and paid compensation according to what the spirit demanded. When that was done, People went to the mortuary, they took his body, and they could bury it. And he was able 
to transcend and take up his role as a living dead. What is the purpose of the living dead? They are guardians. They protect us. And it's our life. In the formal system, when the judges finally reached a verdict, the accused were sentenced to 18 years imprisonment. One of them already died. When you consult with the community that witnessed the awakening of Moses' spirit, and you ask them, what do you make of what happened? They will tell you, when an injustice is done, if you beat me, you may hurt the physical body, but your pain goes deep inside. Now, if you want to make amends, to retain the balance, where there has been an imbalance, you have to make sure that you do not only attend to my physical wounds, but you also address my spirit. I am a living spirit. I am a living being. And I need that to be done. That's what they said. And now they're living in peace. Even Moses' spirit is living in peace because justice was saved. What about the people that went to prison? They are, they, are, they are saving for what they did. But what was important is the fact that they addressed things according to the needs of Moses. What then do I take from this experience? What is justice? As a living spirit, justice is an all-encompassing process where you make sure you attend to the psychosocial and the spiritual. If you want to do the physical only, you would not have saved justice. That's what Moses wanted. Is our international system prepared to do justice according to what we want. It doesn't seem so. You know why? Customary practices are looked down upon because they do not meet international standards. Hang on. If international standards look at an, is an, an issue as an, in, let's say the case of rep, or even the case of murder, if we are to single them out and address them as a single thing, what you will find is within our customary practice, there is an equivalent justice process that can address the specific issue. And when that is done according to what people want, they will actually notice that justice has been done, not just sending somebody to prison, and leaving me with a burdened spirit, it is not justice. That is what I've been experiencing in my research, that justice is not a one-size-fits-all. It has to be tailor-made. We have to make sure that we attend to what people need. We do not have to do justice for the state. We do not have to do justice for the international bodies. After all, it is an individual that is affected. Since it's an individual that is affected, how much time do we give to understanding the depth of the wound in order to provide justice that is deep enough to unplug the root of the wound? I thank you.